preserve land that flows with milk and honey through canal as now oil. They should defend their oil not to be taken by bloody Kikuyu corrupt. Ghost people, the same. Taita Tabeta, protect your assets. Western, Nyanza, let Kikuyu be isolated or let Kikuyu live on their land. Masai on their Masai land, Kamba land, etc. We shall unite when we become civilized. Not now. We cannot live under these guys. It is a pity, my friend, and I repeat. It is a pity in this time to live with people, evil people, in this time and era. When they take oath that, oh, that tribe or that tribe will never lead in this country, we can't live with such animals. Believe me, we can't live with such animals. Why should we cheat ourselves in Kenya? that there is unity, fake unity, when others say they don't believe Trukana has the right to lead, Eromoro has no right to lead, a Masai cannot lead, a Trukana cannot lead in this country, a Mkapa cannot lead in this country, a Pokomo cannot, or a Bajun cannot lead in this country. Gentlemen, we must change that. Fear not. Everybody must remove fear. Musima Meimala, both men and women, Wakari Mathai taught you, Make a tree taught you, Dead and Kimathi taught you. Kwadini, Munatate Meka Matako Ifi. Today, Uhuru Kenyatta is harrowing, is diarrhearing. Look, the other day he failed to meet Laira Amoro Denga in his presidential debate. Why? Because Laila, Laila Molo Simba, Laila Nisimba, Laila Molo Diga Nisimba Dume, Uhuru, when Uhuru saw Laila, he was checking. He refused to meet Laila Odinga for fear. Why? Because Laila Odinga is the man of the people, defending the oppressed, defending the oppressed people of Kenya, and he has suffered so many years in prison. Being detained by Uru's father, by Daniel Arap Moy, where they destroyed his life, look his eyes. And a gentleman, God is with him. What's wrong if Laila Oginga Odinga takes power in Kenya or becomes president of Kenya? Laila Moro Odinga is an accepted person and let him take over power. No matter what the Kenyans have said it have chosen Laila as their leader. Let us see him and prove him. Let us stand for him and deliver. And if he cannot deliver, Kenyan, they are men and women who can do that. But this time, Amo, Laila Amoro Odenga, hakuna mwingine, apewe achukue usukani. Amekubalika na wananchi. Yeye ni si badume. And that's why Uhuru Kenyatta alitetemeka matako could not meet Mtoto wa Jalamogi, a man of the people. So, gentlemen, when we see a Nifo army, like Kenya army, some of them trained from Israel, the others, Sandhurst, Pakistan, India, marching just soldiers of marching like idiots from morning to evening, protecting a family, a very corrupt family. And you cannot find a patriot who can do away with the Uru. We want soldiers who can treat Uhuru the way he deserved, Chechio Skwe. If he rigged election this time, let him be treated, Chechio Skwe, former Romanian dictator. And this time, tell Uhuru Kenyatta, let family Kenyatta, family Gena, listen and hear. Kenyan people are not going to accept a rigged election, no matter what. Believe me. Wacha Kenya yugwe tutajega, siya tasiri ya watajega. Siya taliban ya watajega. Siya taliban ya watajega huku Afghanistan. Yemen itajegwa kitu gani. But we cannot surrender or suck up to Uhuru, Kikuyu, Fascist, Hegemone. Where we live on shit under their feet. Thank you very much. Aluta continua. Long live the Kenyan resilient people. Long live the Kenya-led alliance. Thank you.